Mini Lad. We'll get we'll get this out of the way. Mini Lad is still uploading stories to Instagram. If you didn't know, I covered this in a previous video. If anybody wanted an update on what Minilad's doing, he's still uploading stories to Instagram. <sighs> so yeah, he's working out. He's still updating his audience um, to a point. And th those are his stories. I'm only going to show him once, not show him a lot. There's been one other thing that he's been doing as well. I will show that real quick. Well, I'm going to talk about the Instagram thing real quick. Why does that even matter? Well, one, I think a lot of a lot of fans of his on, I, I'm sure every fan that's followed him on Instagram has heard about it. Whether or not they believe it or not, or care to believe it, there are still people I believe that are going to like his post and still be fans of his no matter what. And there might be somebody new who's never heard of Minilad. Believe it or not, with the amount of attention that Minilad has gathered from the stuff, it seems like he's gotten more attention than some of his most popular videos. There are still people out there in this world who don't know who Minilad is or what Minilad did. You let me know if you think someone new who doesn't know anything Minilad has done should go and watch his content and be a fan without the knowledge of it. You let me know. If you think yes, then I'm not going to get to you. I'm sorry, but the answer is no. They should not just simply be able to watch a mini live video without the knowledge of doing it. They should be acknowledged somehow by doing my part about talking about it. Other people by commenting about it. Other people by other commentary channels by talking about it. Um, even the Vanos crew by making references to it. It helps anybody who has never heard of mini lad to know about it. Um, and not to necessarily go and dislike every video and to go hate on him. And no, 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 no. But just to know about it. So it really it, it releases the any chances of mini lad doing it to another younger underaged this would all be solved if he was just banned off the community because there would be no way for that to happen and it would shut everybody up nobody would ever talk about it again maybe references to it but if he was off the community it would it would solve all problems but he ended up uploading you know those podcasts good news and everything and then he made a whole new channel about it which is right here now some people have told me that these are now monetized he has monetized this channel now he is now making money from this is what I've heard. I don't know if anybody else in the chat knows anything else about this, but I've heard that these are now monetized. People have received ads when watching these videos. Now, YouTube just does not place ads on videos for them to earn money. Um, and I'm showing you guys real quick that I think this new channel um, is is monetized, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I don't know if it would be because it's been too short of time and I don't think he's gotten enough watch hours, but he might might have. Um, I think you only need over what a thousand subscribers. I didn't know this. This is his channel. Yeah, this is his second channel. Um, the shorts make little to no money, so it doesn't really matter. He's throwing PewDiePie and uh, Mr. Beast, KSI, Logan Paul, trying to get more attention, obviously. But I don't get any ads when I click on these videos. Um, Cars up. And I don't know how that works necessarily on how you can check if it's monetized. I don't know 100% how to check that. Um, I did ask other people, how do you know? And they just say, I've gotten ads. Um, there was a screenshot I had, but I wasn't able to find it before this live stream. Um, but apparently this channel is monetized to some people is what they claim. If it's not, and this is just an attempt to, for me to talk about it, if it's just an attempt for me to talk about it, then it worked. But is there a chance this will be monetized? Well, I shared those worries before. Give me 10 minutes. Okay, somebody's going to find out real quick if it is monetized or not. But I've shared these worries in the past that by him making a second channel, YouTube should be knowledgeable of that. And if it's a channel where it's only good news, he only talks about good things. It's nothing bad. It's all good news. You don't think that by putting Mr. Beast in the title, KSI, PewDiePie, <laughs> YouTubers did something good for once, animals, you don't think that's going to attract some kid who's under the age of 18, under the age of 16, even a 12, you don't think a random 12 year old somehow going to stumble across this and like the video and subscribe to the account and become a fan of mini lad, especially if it's one of his actual audience members from his mini lad channel that are going to follow him to his new channel. You don't think that there's going to be kids younger who are going to follow him to the ends of the earth and no matter what, follow him and one day he'll open up, hey, on Instagram, hit me up or whatever. People aren't going to try to DM him one time. You don't think people are going to try to buy any merch he tries to put out? I mean, it just all, it gives him all the benefits of YouTube that he had before. He wasn't allowed to be monetized on his main channel. I think uh, YouTube demonetized his channel. But with this new channel, he's able to monetize. He did do meme streams where he allowed donations on like a third party uh, donation thing. So he was trying to collect money from it. 
I don't really think he does that anymore because he ain't live streaming. But with this new channel, he's able to monetize and do all that stuff. So me personally, I've always shared these worries that this new channel being monetized has always been a worry of mine. Well, his old apology video is gone. If you don't know, he deleted it, by the way. It, it's gone. Manyland, my apology. Pull this up for you guys. He deleted it. So if you don't think this is an attempt for him to sit here and um, wipe the slate clean and try to have everyone forget about it. He deleted his apology video. He deleted his clearing the air video. This is it re-uploaded. And the original video link, thank God for this person re-uploading it. The original video link, if you click on it, video's private. Video is unavailable. It's been gone for a minute, by the way. This isn't any new news. It might be new to some people, but it isn't new to anybody else. So by him removing this the, the apology video by him making a new channel by having that video claimed by some that it's monetized now they've received they've seen ads when they click on the video you don't think at all he's just trying to get back to the same place he was before to have everyone forget about it and for him to be literally in the exact situation he was when he messaged those people who were underage and took advantage of them used his number his size and his channel his brand against those girls He's literally getting back to the same spot where he can do it again. And if you think he's trustworthy not to do it again after he's already not screwed up once, not twice, but three times, he's done this three times with three different girls, which I covered in a previous video that there is a third girl if you didn't know about that. I, I wouldn't trust somebody after doing it once. This person has done it three times. And a lot of people want to group the mini lad situation as one thing that happened. No, there's three different times. It was, <laughs> it took the, it took place over years of it happening and he's, done like that because he's worked out and he's lost weight and he dresses differently and he shows his tattoo more often and he has different glasses and he talks and does different types of content i'm sorry it's not believable it irks a lot of people the wrong way it irks me the wrong way and that's what motivates me to do these videos if i wasn't having fun doing these videos i wouldn't drive myself into the fucking ground doing these videos all the time the reason why i do it because it motivates me enough that some people out there will reach this video and realize that he's done wrong or other people will make an effort to do some and hopefully i'll make a ripple effect where it saves other people from having to possibly fall into that situation with him i do think it's important to talk about it if you are somebody who's interested in talking about it talk about it if you have a small channel a big channel whatever um if you know somebody else who will talk about it share this around share the information around at least um and then obviously keep checking up on what he's doing but at the same time don't send hate don't break any of the youtube tos or the rules